Flowers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we are doing a week in my life vlog. It is currently Monday. It's literally 4.50 a.m. when I'm starting this vlog. My hands are kind of shaky. It's so early and your girl is usually asleep right now. But this week is going to be a fun one. Today we're going to Kansas City for the day. We're going to spend our work day there. We're going to a concert tonight. Wednesday we are headed to talk to a group I was in in my college town and I want to stay up there for a night. So some fun travel mixed in this week and some other things. Also we'll have to like do a deep clean of my apartment. We still need to go grocery shopping once I get back from this trip. Lots of things. But for now my friend's going to be here in five minutes. So I quick... I'll show you guys my outfit and we need to head downstairs because I'm gonna be ready. When she gets here, we're trying to get to Casey by nine so we can still have like a full work day and that's how we're justifying going to a concert tonight. This is what I'm wearing. I'm just gonna like do my makeup in the car, I think, but I have my Show Me Your Moo Moo overalls that I love and I'm just wearing a tank top. So I can have a sweatshirt depending on the temperature of my friend's car and this is like my favorite little weekender tote. Put my hair in these two little buns that I haven't done since like my travel days two years ago. They just like make it look more together because you have little braids. Also, I'm at my parents' house because I stayed here last night so my pets can stay here while I'm on my trip to KC and it was a little bit closer to Kansas City than my apartment in the city. So yeah, that's why I'm at my parents. But let's go because my friend's gonna pick me up. She's so graciously driving. So yeah, we're gonna have a great day. Happy Monday. I should update y'all because it's shocking to me. I'm ready on time. She should be here in like a minute or so. I threw on this stuffy jacket. And while I'm down here waiting, I thought I would just show you guys. My mom got me these cute little Easter towels for my apartment. I was a little surprised, so I need to take those to my apartment on my back from this trip. But yeah, the only part I can't get behind, like I feel pretty good waking up at 5 a.m. because now I'm like, I have the whole day. Trust me, I don't normally do this, but I'm like, I feel like I get like sick to my stomach. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pack. Pack some medicine. She should be here any minute, so. My hair is like falling out of the buns from falling asleep in the car, but I never updated. We stopped at McDonald's once, and then we literally got here before 9 a.m., which is crazy, because I just like don't think of Kansas City as being very close to St. Louis. So we are pit stopped at Messenger Coffee, to have our little work day. Margaret's downstairs right now ordering our coffees. I got eyes for a long time. I'll show you guys when I get it. But yeah, we're gonna be sat here for a while. Maybe take like a midday break to go on a walk and explore a little bit while we're here. But yes, Messenger Coffee, I've been here before. Highly recommend and it's really big so there's a lot of space to like work and stuff. Okay, we just got our coffees. Got a iced vanilla latte. I was like, what's happening? I'm with Margaret. What did you get? The same. The same. Sorry, I'm moving because... There's 85 stairs. Making a little lunch stop at Buffalo State Pizza. Okay, we made it to Buffalo State Pizza for lunch. We're waiting on our pizza still, but we just got our cheesy bread. Looks so good. Okay, we just got our pizzas. We're both spiraling because we we're missing our ranch, so we have to go up, which makes us nervous. It's gonna be me. But yeah, I got the buffalo pizza with no pepper. What did you get? Um, I think Don Pepe. Don Pepe. Currently at Dutch Bros, it is six in the morning the next day. I didn't really vlog after lunch, but we just hung out at Ashley's apartment, our friend, and then we went to a Laney concert. So yeah, we're kinda out of it right now, but I've been wanting to try Dutch Bros like my entire life. I want that pop and boba. The pop and boba. Because of drink talk, and I'm so excited. Okay, this is the best day of my life. Best day of my life. It's, I don't even know if I said it when we started this, but now it's Tuesday. But we got our Dutch Bros. I've never, I haven't been this happy in years. I'm so excited. We're gonna do our taste test over it. Okay. With my soft top. I'm so excited about the soft top. Fire. Mm hmm. Good? Mm hmm. Everything I've been thinking about. So yeah, good. Yeah, this is fire. I got the like caramel and vanilla one with soft top added, but 
yeah, we're living. We're now at the gas station because we're gonna get a little snacky. Cause it's six. Time to enter in our pajamas. Yeah, I am literally wearing my pajamas. I'm gonna go in. I don't know if I wanna eat yet. But. The vlog is gonna be like, because I've been wearing this outfit in every clip. Me too. But I did bring other clothes. I didn't. <laughs> I really, I, I was planning on wearing what I wore to the concert last night home. And I was like, no. All right, we're gonna go see if we want a snack because we have like a four hour drive-ish. Three, four hours. Yeah. Oh, and I'll be sitting here sat happy because I have my soft top. Never forget that. <laughs> All right, we went on the quick trip. Also, Margaret didn't have a dirty car. We parked under a tree and <laughs> things and happened. The birds. Kansas City happened, but it's not a call. All I got was this. <laughs> Please comment if you also think this is gross. Margaret I it's thinks it's disgusting and I'm so excited. Hey, Good afternoon, besties. It's been a hot minute since I checked in. It's currently five o'clock. I got back to my parents' house where Margaret dropped me off, my friend I was with this morning from KC because it's closer than my apartment. I'm currently in bed with Stormy, but I was trying to decide if I wanted to go back to my apartment or not because long story short, because I know y'all don't really care about this probably, but my apartment is in the opposite direction of the town I'm driving to tomorrow to give my presentation about self-employment and social media and working in social media and just kind of like that broad topic. I'm going to miss you tomorrow for that and my house is a lot closer to that and at first I was going back to my apartment because I go to the gym and I kind of need to get fresh clothes to wear but I found something I could wear here and I was like you know what that's gonna save like an hour and a half plus of driving and gas so we're just gonna we're gonna go with that I have been posted up right here for the past many hours basically since around 9 in the morning I did do a midday break to go on a long walk with Ollie and I also did watch The Bachelor today because I had to make my TikToks for it. Y'all love when I do my reality TV TikToks, so I've been doing those weekly. Mommy is posted up with me. She loves when I wear black stuff. It's so cute. But yeah, today was a really successful day. I'm so thankful that I had a lot of computer work to get done because your girl wanted to work from bed. I'm so tired. The past two days, I've woken up from like 4 to 5 a.m. because of the 24-hour trip thing at the landing concert last night was literally so fun. I'm not like previously necessarily a fan. I saw them at Bonnaroo, but not like a big fan or anything and just ended up working out to go last minute. And I'm trying to be more of a yes girl and like take advantage of my early twenties and say yes to things. So I went and it was such a good time. So yeah, had that last night and then literally just been in bed working on some content stuff for clients, working on some different contract things, social media stuff. I put a little cute reel up that I edited, you know, just work from bed things because your girl was tired. I signed two really exciting contracts today, which I'm really excited about. Well, I signed one and I'm waiting on one more answer um, on a question I had to finalize and sign the other one, but both are opportunities that I'm so excited about and with brands that I'm so excited to work with. And I just feel like I recently changed my mindset and stopped being so full of self-doubt and I feel like my business and my personal social media stuff and everything has just been really transformed ever since I transformed my mindset on it. So yeah, I don't want to bore you guys too much because I'll be doing lots of more fun, exciting things this week than sitting in this bedroom working on my computer, but we're going to do this for the next few hours maybe until my parents get home because so I'll go hang out with them for a bit since I'm going to be going to Columbia tomorrow, which is like an hour and a half for me. I'm staying there and everything with my college roommate, if you guys remember Maria. So, yeah, there's update. I also have a PR packages sitting over there. They're like staring at me and I want to open them. I'm so excited about them, but I want to put makeup on so I can like make cute reels doing it. I'm trying to do more reels, not just TikToks because I feel like I have the TikTok thing down and I need to work on my Instagram, uh, but I don't makeup or anything on today since this has been my desk. So we're holding, we're holding ourselves back from that. But yeah, all right, I'll catch up with you guys. Maybe honestly, even tomorrow if I end up just being cozy and doing computer work the rest of the night. Good morning, besties. Happy Wednesday. Started off my morning right with a good ollie walk. It's so warm and sunshiny here, which y'all know me. That is just the best. We're going to go head out and get a fun little coffee to get our day started. Maybe an energy drink. I haven't decided yet. Since I stayed at my parents' house last night and I'm out in the suburbs, one, my favorite coffee shop is out here. And two, I don't have my Nespresso machine and Nespresso pods and like my coffee making stuff. So I like to go get a fun little drink when I see out here. It's like a reward and then we're gonna go film a few quick little shopping things because there's a lot of good shopping just like right by where my parents live and if you didn't know on tiktok i do mostly shopping and reality tv content just like any kind of girly stuff i do to get ready with me is just it's a girly fun space to be but i want to go get a few of those since i'm going to be traveling 
the next afternoon and day kind of bit. Um, and then I'm going to come back here. I have a new client I need to send a contract over for for my social media management business, which I'm very excited about. And I have a few contract things I need to do for my YouTube work. We need to edit content for content calendar. And then we need to drive to Mizzou, just like an hour and a half away where I went to college and I'm speaking to her campus girls at I think like five o'clock and after that go to stay with my roommate and we're gonna get dinner watch the new love is blind episode because that was like our college show and it literally is like wild that the day I'm coming is the day that like the tell-all comes out like we can't wait to watch it together it's gonna be so fun and might even like oh we might even like make a night out of it. So we'll just see. And then tomorrow morning, I'm driving back here, but we'll finally be back in the city of my own apartment. I don't think this week in my life has even seen my apartment yet because we've just been all over the place. But I'm excited to get back to the city tomorrow afternoon. But for now, we're gonna have a really fun next 24 hours and let's get it started with a fun drink because that's what we need to get our Wednesday going. All right, besties, sorry the lighting is like so, so, so bright. Like you guys can't even see my coffee over there, but here she is. It's a nice blondie from Seven Brew. This stuff is so good, honestly. It's a good thing I don't have this coffee shop by my apartment in the city because this drink is like, oh gosh, it's like all over. Um, This drink is literally like three, fours, half and half. I recently discovered it's like glowing in this light. Let me, oh my gosh, I'm spilling it. I cleaned up the mess. Sorry, the cup is like glowing, but the stuff is literally so good. Like if I was drinking three fourths of a cup of half and half every morning, like that probably would not be the best. So it's good. This is just like for treats when I'm out in the suburbs having my moment. So I'm gonna pop in. I think I'm gonna do a five below shopping vlog in Target. Just if there's any new items, just show new finds. And if there's not, I won't make anything. So. Yes, I'm trying to stay on top of always like getting to stores as soon as the new stuff is out and sharing that on my TikTok because I think it's like a fun little way for people to kind of like plan their buys, plan their shopping trips, things like that. So we have our little treat. We're having a good day. I'm going to quick check my email in the car just to make sure there's nothing that I need to like get back to super quickly. One thing about me is I chronically check my email like it's a good and bad trick because if you're working with me, it's fabulous because I'll get back to you like ASAP, but also like I can't do anything without like double double checking but yeah i'll probably get a few clips in these stores especially if there's any like really good stuff we'll see but yes we're having a great day i love a girl's day with myself is it a girl's day if i'm just hanging out with me but i'm doing all my girly favorite things like getting coffee and going to target oh my gosh i almost forgot i have this really cute little all things that lillian a little koozie sleeve so i threw this on my coffee and let's hit the shopping Okay, I'm shopping around on my TikTok. Wait, look at those pillows. I just noticed those, but I had to give you guys a vlog shot of these because you need to come check them out. They have these rugs for $5. Like, tell me where you can get cute, trendy rugs like this for $5. Like, actually, no, where? Look at this tiger one. At Urban Outfitters, this would be so much more. Like, I can't believe these are $5. Also, just one last thing I have to show you here because my other favorite find of the day, the disco wall mirrors and just like all these fun shaped ones. They have the viral ones. So good. All right, besties. We are at our next stop for the day. We loved Five Below. They had some iconic stuff. I know I showed you guys a few of the favorite things, but go check me out on TikTok because seriously, I haven't been to over there in a while, that particular location. So good. Like, if I want to decorate my space, I should be hitting up Five Below. And, like, for actual affordable prices we love to see it but we're gonna go over to target now well we're parked outside but we're gonna go inside all right besties update i am home from filming the shopping vlogs and now i have like two hours to crank out things before i need to head to my college town so i wanted to show you guys i just did some little unboxing videos on my instagram so i thought i would show you guys number one my best friend has a small business and it is the cutest stuff ever handmade by ash she sent me this, which she made. I love it. It says, isn't it funny how it all works out? Which as a chronic warrior, this is so me. I'm obsessed with it. And then also she sent the cutest little card. She wrote such a nice note. It says, someone I love very much, you. And then I got a bunch of cute stickers. So, so excited for that. Thank you, Ashley. I'm obsessed. It's just so much fun. I love my friends doing cool amazing things and she spread so much positivity and joy with her designs. The other package I just opened up was from United Monograms and first of all look at this sweatshirt. I've been needing something like this because I wear sweatshirts like every day for work and why not have one that's more me this pink bow one. So 
so cute and then i also got this one just so comfy and it's embroidered i love embroidered sweatshirts it says espresso martini social club and it has a little espresso beans on the sleeve i'm just obsessed i got this in a large and i got this in a medium so yes i also didn't open this on instagram but i just got a package of a bunch of nail stuff for an upcoming collab i'm doing which i'm so excited because my nails horrible but i need to get to emails and editing and work so i'll probably honestly update you guys when we're in route to columbia or packing for it i also just had to show you all this little card that came with my united monogram stuff because how cute is that like the girls that get it get it someone is making bread in secret i see update besties i had lunch i finished my presentation and did a few work emails and now we are ready to i think this is zoomed in let's see yeah there we go i am ready to go for my presentation i'm wearing this show me your moo moo really cute little jumper i'm renting it from new this is like my last wear i'm getting out of it it's just such a good piece i feel like a barbie in it i have this little jacket on because i think my roommate are going out tonight so and even if we just do dinner, it might be a little chillier. So I'm just bringing this to like throw in my car, sunglasses, and we're set to go. I have my bags, kind of a lot going on. I'm finishing up packing, but I just have like some sweatshirts and leggings and stuff to wear tomorrow morning and to sleep. I'm going to put the rest of my work stuff in here because I'm just going to take this with me to the actual presentation. I'm going to leave now because I'm kind of worried. I'm not going to know like where this, where I'm supposed to be. I literally went to Mizzou for two years and was in a similar program to where i think this building is but most of my classes throughout college were either like online or in like one particular building so in college when i was part of her campus i feel like i could never find where the meetings were so i'm prepping the time for the fact like now i'm out of college it's been a minute since i've even been on this campus and i don't know if i'm gonna know where to go so i want to make sure i'm there early so yes all right i'm gonna grab my bags we're gonna head the hardest part so i say bye to cutie little stormy but we're gonna have a very fun little Wednesday. Look at this. Who would have thought this is a Wednesday night? Like, this week is fun. We're not, we're, we're out and about. We are gals. We're gals on the go. I'm going to listen to the new episode of Gals on the Go, actually. On the drive, I have that queued up, and I have Go Call Your Sister queued up, so we're vibing. All right, besties, a little two hours later update. I have arrived in Columbia. I am currently parked outside of Golden Nutrition because I wanted to get a little energizing tea because we still have quite the day and it's like three or four and this past week just has not been a lot of sleep for me but it's gonna be a great night the drive was great i am so fortunate that i have a job that i could like drive here during the day because i know if i came at five it would have been well i present at five so i knew been an option but if i came a little later traffic could have been bad but i left at, like the perfect time there was like no one out on the road so super peaceful and easy i got i think it was called like the moon juice or something boosted tea so it has like caffeine and metabolism stuff and who knows mm, but it's delicious we have one of these where i love it it's like a different brand and the boosted teas i know people are always like unsure of what's in them i don't care i know it doesn't make me feel bad it makes me feel good and they're beautiful looking and it's yummy and it's a treat and i'm not trying to eat anything because i'm getting dinner with maria my roommate from college so i want to like save my hunger for after the presentation but I was like, I feel like I needed a little boost and I wanted something to take with me to the presentation to put like water in after I drink this because I know when I talk a lot, I feel like my mouth gets all dry and such. I am literally going to do a work session in my car because I got here like an hour early. I'm obviously not going to go to the presentation right on time. I'm going to go like 15 minutes early, but I don't want to go an hour early because literally nobody will be there yet. But I don't want to go into a coffee shop either. This is where it really shines that I'm an introvert because I'm like, do I really, am I in the mood right now to go possibly run into people i know that sounds so bad that sounds so bad but i just am not feeling chatty and i also kind of have a lot i need to do so we are going to enjoy our boosted tree and that boosted tea and have an hour-long work session here maybe like 40 minutes and then i'm gonna head over to campus because i gotta figure out where this thing is but yeah i know i have a few business things i need to get back to and i have some content for a client that would be great to just get done and out of the way so yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll go park in front of Starbucks and use their Wi-Fi. So this is this is a status update. Things are going well. The tea is delish. I'm not updated, you guys. The wind is blowing like it's crazy. <laughs> we finished watching Love is Blind and now we're going to the bar. 
It was really anticlimactic. It was. If you watched Help is Blind. I think who you thought would get married did. That's all I'm saying. That's, yep, I agree. Maria's looking stunning as ever. Oh, Let's you're looking stunning as ever. We're in all Maria's clothes. Oh my god, my back cracks. <sighs> Thursday. I haven't updated you besides like little clips since I got here. I did a presentation. We went and got Mexican last night. Yeah. We watched Love is Blind. We went to a bar for like not that long, but it was still really fun. A and animal shot. Yeah, we had a little animal shot, which was actually so good. And now we're having a little breakfast. You guys saw we went and got all the treats. We got bagels. What did you get? I got an everything bagel with scallion cream cheese. Delish. I got just plain and plain. And then we got vanilla and caramel latte. So we're having a morning. And guys, look how cute. I know you missed her. Guys, remember my college vlogs when we had our star, Phoebe? Star. She doesn't like come out and put her chin like she used to at the vlog. No. She's having her alone time. Come on! You can have a bagel. You can have a sniff, I promise. Let's see update. We had our little morning breakfast time. Maria has a little, what do you call it? Like a presentation or like... Um... Oh, what would we call this? I don't know this? what it is. Explain like, what you're doing, kind of. It's like a bunch of like alumni are coming. I don't know what I'm doing. We're pitching herself to Aerie. That's pitch what we're doing. Myself. Pitching yourself around town. Give us an OOTD because this is everything. Everything is from H&M. I just bought it this week because I was like, ooh, I want it to be super so cute. Good. I mean, you can definitely see my Spanx through it, but it's better than little booty. No, but it's so good. in the flats. Giving Chanel do. Giving Chanel. Thank so you. good in the hair. Thank you. So good. Press on. So good. Do it. So good. Hair. Keep the, the nail. Right, Nessie's update time. I just walked like Maria's class on the way was the parking garage I parked at. So I walked my car, put all my bags back in here. We are headed back to home because I need to get back to work. But it was the best little trip ever. I want to talk about it more in a second. But we are going to actually get a little energy drink to go. Because your girl is chronically like someone who like gets so sleepy when I drive. So we need to fight that. Because also when I get back... Obviously, I had a really fun little night and morning today. I stayed till like lunchtime-ish. So, gotta have a productive night tonight. So, we need energy. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting Missouri to get like a Utah-style like soda shop for so long. Like that is just, I always see the TikToks people who live in Utah. And I'm like, please, that's like all I want. It seems so fun. And my roommate like casually told me that they opened up a soda shop here in my college town. Thank goodness it wasn't open, honestly, when I was in college. Because I would have spent all my money here. But also like... Well, I couldn't have been open when I was in college. I would have, like, loved this. But we're going to go try it out. Never never had a fun soda before, but I think this is going to be really fun. So let's go pick something out. This is going to make the drive just way more exciting. All right, besties, I just picked up my sips. I haven't taste tested yet, but I also want to make a TikTok. So I'm going to be kind of looking at that camera and then we'll chat. So yeah, I'm going to make this little TikTok. The Jumpin' Jelly with Sugar-Free Monster Add Cream. An extra 60 cents, but I love cream in my soda lately. I love like everyone hopping on the soda trend because I saw some creamer brands are coming out with a like soda mix in like dirty soda. So fun. So let's see how this tastes. It's a it has like a lot of different syrups in it, energy drink, all that. So, mm. mm hmm. And I was nervous because I asked her what she recommended and she said sugar free monster. And I usually don't like sugar free stuff. That's so good. I love a fun drink. So, cheers. And it was $5, which honestly, I feel like most places that make like specialty drinks to have like all those syrups and stuff, it's more like eight or nine dollars. So, yay. I'm road tripping back to my place in st louis right now but now i have a fun drink to keep me company all right besties so you kind of got the tiktok review but it is so good this is gonna keep me company for the drive mm, that literally tastes like candy i would love to try the soda ones but i was like i feel like i need an energy drink right now just because driving can be a little dicey i get so sleepy but my trip was so fun i like you leave living by one of your best friends and you kind of get used to like your life separated and being back with her i was just like like she is literally like my best friend version of a soulmate like she's just i'm so lucky to be friends with maria she is such a good friend to me she is such a good listener and just such a good person to like chat things out with and 
yeah i just love maria so much such understanding good genuine person and literally like the best thing i ever got from college was maria and we we're gonna be friends for, like the rest of our lives and it was just so sweet to get to spend so much time together again we'll have our little sleepover and everything like i'm telling y'all right now someday we're gonna live together again I hope someday when we're married, we have like a beach house that we spend our summers at together. Like she is just, she's my best friend soulmate. It was so much fun. Also my presentation, cause I didn't really get to talk about that. Our canvas went so well. I honestly didn't practice a lot because I found for me, I really like going with the flow when it comes to presentations. Like, especially when it's about my job and things about me. Like I obviously like don't need to like learn like i already know all these things these are things that i'm teaching people on a regular basis so i kind of went more with the flow of it i wanted it to feel like natural i didn't want it to feel like forced and i was a little nervous since i did that i was like what if this is so short like what if it's like five minutes the meeting lasted like 45 minutes so i say it was great i felt just so happy afterwards i love doing speaking opportunities like that something on my vision board this year was more speaking opportunities and i had that this week i'm speaking at something next week and i'm speaking at a college summer camp this summer so those are just like a few things coming up and i just i would really like to someday make that something that i'm doing as like a um another part of my job and right now i'm doing it like for fun and i have so much fun with it so yes i'm so grateful for that opportunity I'm so grateful for how amazing the girls who came and listened are. I love her campus because y'all know I love like all women's groups. I just, I'm a girl's girl at the end of the day. And it was just so fun that they all, I didn't really know how they would feel because I don't know how many people like wanted a career in social media or interested in getting started on social media. And they were such amazing listeners and they all asked questions. And I was just like, I'm so grateful for this. Like, this is just so so cool so yes such a great little less than 24 hour trip to como let's get back because i have a contract i need to write up and send out and i want to get that done before five o'clock so that maybe the client will get back to me and just some other things so yes this is such a fun week this is much out of my norm i'm usually like mostly at my apartment in the city and we haven't even gone there in this vlog yet but yeah it's just been it's been a good week we're living good morning besties it's friday i self tanned last night look at my cute little black pjs but i just wanted to check in i know no, yesterday when I got home, I don't think I literally did any clips and that's just because I worked on my computer, caught with my mom and then I drove back to the city and I deep cleaned my apartment. Not all of it, but like this little bathroom area and then my kitchen area because I had literally like dishes and stuff because I wasn't planning on being out of the apartment all week. But, but we're gonna get our day going. It's a little bit more of a busy Friday-ish. Actually, like I don't really have a plan yet. So I don't really know. We'll see, but I'm gonna try to bring you guys along Marks and I haven't been in my apartment doing things. But first things first, gotta go wash off the self tan because it's looking very patchy. And then we gotta go take Ollie on a WA, okay. So yeah, me and the pets are back in the city, back to my apartment, home base, I'm happy to be here. All right, besties, we are out of the shower. We need to get dressed for the gym. The way I haven't been to the gym all week in all transparency, because you guys have seen, I've been traveling the days that I was staying out of the city, I was trying to like go on walks and get my exercise in that way, but it definitely was not the same. So we're getting back to the gym today. I never like miss the gym that many days till literally Friday, but you know, sometimes life happens. But all that to say, I am very excited to have an at home day today. I really have not planned out my to-do list, so I could not tell y'all what we're gonna be up to, but it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. I think just getting back to my hot girl walk to be saying to my podcast is gonna be everything to me. So yeah, also my skin's low key breaking out. I think part of it is from like being off routine this week, but also part of it is just that I'm about to be on my period. So you know, not that big of a deal. My little sister comes home for spring break from college today, so I kind of need to figure out if I'm gonna go over to the, my family's house or if I'm gonna wait until later this weekend because I did spend like time this week over there just because it was a lot closer to both travel places I was going versus like down here in the city. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna throw this set on, put my skincare away. We're gonna have a great day. I'm gonna throw these little Annalise hoops into it because they're cute. What is that noise? I don't know what's happening. It sounds like construction going on. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Update time I'm home from the gym. I took a body shower and I'm literally just leaving my hair in this sweaty bum for now because we're just gonna have a computer work day. I have been out and about literally all week and I'm kind of just ready to have a cozy at home day. I have a million things to edit for a client, so it works out. Also, this sweatshirt, coziest thing ever. Like, 
this material i have like this thing with texture that like if something's uncomfortable it just like really bugs me and this is like the kind of thing i'm gonna be wearing all the time oh also i didn't update you guys when i was eating breakfast so I came back from the gym and I was like ravenous. I had a chicken sausage and cottage cheese and crackers. Yes, we're gonna plan out our day. Oh, I also need to pack up my new leaf. Let's actually do that. I really wanna go drop it off because I wanna pick out new pieces. I kinda wanna do also like Amazon order and do a video trying out items from Amazon and like updating my Amazon storefront and stuff. I don't know. I know you guys would be interested in that. I do a lot of shopping content over on my TikTok, but I don't do a ton over on, you know, here, YouTube. Especially, actually, I've had a few shopping vlogs lately, so I take that back. But, okay, I have my newly. Here's my confusion. I'm, this is my first time ever returning it. I have a friend who's done it for years, which makes me feel good, and she always had a really positive experience. I've been renting her fashion pass for, like, over a year. And what I'm confused about is there's no, like, lock on the zip. So I'm like, if any, like, worker, not that people are, like, by nature dishonest, but, like, if any worker knew what a clothing rental service was like saying newly like obviously everything in this box is worth a decent amount of money and like that's why i'm renting it now i own it i left my selfie jacket in kansas city whenever i was there for the concert this week and like working up there and stuff and my friend is an actual angel on earth and she mailed it to me you want to know how much this cost to ship though which is literally insane and she felt so bad and i was like girl this is like not your fault like this is just insane that this is even real it was $60 to ship this jacket. Like, what? I'm sorry. What? So, yeah, that is an interesting little tidbit. So, I guess my newly cost me a little extra this month because I was dumb and I forgot this. It is the best jacket ever. Like, in the jacket's defense, like, I've considered buying it because I have worn this, like, pretty much every day this month. I will say something I've really liked about doing newly here. Let me back you guys up. I've really, really liked that with fashion pass especially since i do social media i've always kind of felt the pressure to like get the items take content and all of them and get shit back and pick out new ones which that's kind of a perk because you do get more items a month so i really like i kind of am like should have had both <laughs> which sounds crazy but like fashion pass is so good for getting content but the nice thing about newly is i honestly feel like i don't haven't bought a ton of clothes in my adult life honestly and i feel like because i had to keep these all month like i rewore this i wore this like bajillion times so show me your moo little jumper sorry i'm trying to zip it up to ship it back but it was just kind of nice because like i took content and all this stuff but i also got just like so many wears out of each thing and like now i'm not really tempted to buy most of it because i feel like i like got the wear out of it you know what i mean so yeah my valentine's day outfit just all the things i'm like a day late on shipping this um i never actually wore this top it's an anthropology top it's cute but like I don't know my i just like wasn't feeling myself in it so didn't ever wear that but everything else i wore multiple times so i really enjoyed that about newly and honestly in a dream world i think i would just have subscriptions to both because i really really enjoyed this month of this i love that it's in this little container also this dress was so cute at the moment i wish i would have sized one up because the biker shorts were a little tight for my legs but it was so cute i wore that in orlando but yeah, so maybe I think I recommend both clothing services. I don't know if I have a favorite. They kind of both have their perks. Also, I cannot find my show me and my pants. And if you're telling me that I don't know where they are, I'm gonna like lose it because I wanna get this package shipped out. I'm gonna find them, package this up, and I think we're gonna go drop it off and then we'll come back and work. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see Ollie right now. Maybe I'll have a work from bed day. Let me show you Ollie and outside because it's just it's vibes. Like, please. He was sleeping a second ago, but he woke up because I was talking. But, like, this is my vibes right now. No, I haven't made my bed. Also, Stormy is right here because she is, like, always keeping an eye on me. Like, this is the vibe of outside right now. So, I'm, like, I feel like the luckiest girl alive that today is a editing day because I don't want to be out and about doing nothing. I want to have, like, a show on in the background and be editing. So, thankful today. All right, besties. We are out and about for the day no i don't have any makeup on we're just rocking our natural skin today well it's not even really natural because i have fake tan on which actually without makeup might make my face look worse but just like when my body's tan again we're feeling better but i just parked at ups it's our first stop and it might be our i haven't really decided what we're doing that's the theme for today clearly i don't really know what the plan is um but i didn't return my newly i am like so gut feeling scared that something's gonna get stolen out of this box everything in this box is clearly stuff i don't own i rent because it's a lot i already said that but i'm just like feeling nervous to drop this off it's just zipped shut and everything in it is like 200 dollars sweatpants 200 dollars jacket like i'm shaking in my boots but okay i'm gonna take this inside get it done so i can get new clothes and yeah such a rainy day but 
we've arrived. All right, finished up at FedEx and we're right by Nordstrom Rack, which I never really go to, but I was like, I should do a shopping vlog here because I'm already out and I already drove quite a minute to get to a UPS because I live downtown. So it's just like, I don't know. I drive 20 minutes to do a lot of things. So I was like, you know, we're gonna take advantage of this. So we're gonna go make some TikToks and that's the vibes. So, so much for my at-home morning, but this is really fun. And I'm just so lucky that I get to do stuff like this in my mornings. So yeah, let's go do it. All right, besties, so update. It's a little zoomed in. I am home. I didn't show you guys, but I did go in home goods. I did shopping vlogs there. Okay, well, these bags are so heavy. I did shopping vlogs over there for my TikTok. I was last time I decided to go there. So basically, I've been wanting to do like a coffee area that feels like a little mini coffee shop in my apartment. I've been loving little beverages lately, and I just think that it would be really fun. I know I wanna do a TikTok and Instagram reel putting together my little coffee shop in my apartment, but coffee shop, I'm like a four year old, but like it just seems fun to have like a little fake coffee shop here. Um, I love if you guys want me to do a YouTube video because that could be like a Wednesday extra video um, of me just putting together a little area. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Again, I'm gonna wait to put these out or to use them until I film that content, which is probably gonna be filmed early next week. So can't even use these yet, but you guys get a preview for watching this far into the week of my life. So I got all Tarani syrups because that's what I've heard I think Seven Brew uses and they're one of my favorite coffee brands. So I decided to get some different things. So first up I got the Salted Caramel. This is originally $10. They have it for seven. I love getting stuff at Home Goods because it's cheaper. So yeah, these don't expire for like years. So all good there. I also got the French vanilla for like little vanilla lattes at home. I thought that would be yummy. I didn't do any of the sugar free because I, I don't think any of them are sugar free at least. I don't like the taste of like all the artificial sweetener. And I think I'm probably gonna do like for some of these aren't for coffees that are for what's it called? Like little beverages, like sparkling waters and stuff. Those will be sugar free. So I wanted to get sugar in my syrups. Okay, I got this blue raspberry tarani. I've never seen this one used for anything. So we'll see. I'll definitely show me making fun drinks and stuff after I do the video where I set up the area. I'll probably even taste test some of these in that video. Okay, I got grenadine, my favorite drink ever. It's Shirley Temples and if I'm making like alcoholic drinks, I love a Dirty Shirley. So this will be great because I can do Dirty Shirley's and just like typical Virgin Shirley Temples with this. And I'm very, very excited about that. Okay, I know I got a lot. But I wanted to get five because I ordered something else for this. So then I also got the brown sugar cinnamon. I used to love the brown sugar cinnamon Starbucks drink. So I thought I'd kind of like try to recreate it at home. So all in all, we have five syrups. I know it's a lot, but I want to try and make lots of different drinks and do like a real series, like trying to make different beverages. I thought that would be fun. But anyways, yes. So lots of syrups. I think when I make the video, I'm going to move my coffee area to that corner because there's more space for all of these. But I'm just so excited. I want to have like my own little seven brew. Utah soap shop here. I'm going to order some sparkling waters or maybe I'll pick them up at Walmart if I go out to the suburbs tonight. So yeah, I'm very excited. So stay tuned because next week we'll have a new coffee slash tea station. I already have like my espresso machine. I have a lot of pods right now. I've been getting cups for a while from Home Goods. So right now I have these that have like little cute pink dots on them, which I love using. I have my tea sweetener, my matcha. So there's already a lot of little things in this little area, but I wanted to add on like a cute little layout of fun flavors to try different things and pumps. So yeah, that's the vibe, that's a little haul. Now that I'm home, we're gonna get our actual work started. And to be honest, it's a rainy day. I usually make myself work at a desk, but we're gonna crawl into bed and we're gonna edit and we're gonna put maybe a movie on in the background. And we're just, yeah, we're taking advantage of the fact that we are finally home after a very long week. Somebody's ready for the weekend. Hi, Stormy. Wake up from a nap. All right, you guys. So it has been a hot minute since we checked in. I am... Um, oh, y'all know the drill. If I'm going to start recording, Ollie's going to start drinking water. Ollie, like he... I need to maybe film a lot more because the king gets hydrated if he hears me talking. <laughs> but anyways, I have literally been working in bed for like five hours just editing content for a client. But... It is a stormy day outside. My little sister's getting back for her spring break and I wanna go spend time with family. Ollie, like guys, I'm so serious. Ollie, come here. 
I'm gonna go spend time with family. So I wanted to go ahead and end this week in my life here. I know it was a lot different than most weeks because I was out of the house a lot and it wasn't just so much like getting work done in my apartment, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all somewhere else on the internet or in my next video. Let me know if you guys wanna see more day in my life vlogs or week in my life vlogs. Yes, I will see you guys then. Mm -hmm, baby, it's true.